In this video, we present Rock and Rails, a lightweight method of achieving fluid, high precision, direct manipulation on a multi touch display. Traditional direct touch methods enable fluid manipulations of on screen objects. While appropriate for coarse transformations, the technique does not support finer grained operations. Further, it is extremely difficult to isolate a transformation. Users may want to only translate the object, but invariably they also rotate and resize as well. Occlusion also can increase the difficulty of performing manipulations. The rock and rails technique provides an augmentation to the set of standard multi-touch manipulations, achieving the aims of reduced occlusion, transform isolation, and increased precision. To accomplish this, we segment the language into finger points and shapes. The original fingertip-based manipulations are not altered in our technique. Shape gestures are recognized, but do not manipulate on-screen content. They serve only to apply constraints to the manipulations performed by the fingertips. By augmenting the existing set of manipulation gestures, classic multi-touch interaction is maintained, with no reduction in the expressiveness of the language, and without adding on-screen UI. Users remember the simple rule, touches manipulate, shapes constrain. Rock and Rails is comprised of just three shape gestures. Rock, Rail, and Curved Rail. Applying a rail to an object constrains it to resize only perpendicular to the rail. Applying a rock to an object constrains it to uniform resize. This constraint frees the user to make off-axis movements to adjust gain, increasing precision. Applying a curved rail to an object constrains it to rotation. Again, off-axis movements are now ignored, allowing for increased precision. Applying a rail to the background creates a ruler. Active rulers serve as collision points for moving objects, allowing quick alignment or translation along the ruler. Applying a fist to the background creates a proxy. Any on-screen object can be linked to any proxy. Manipulations to the proxy are applied to all linked objects. This reduces occlusion while allowing the user to apply identical manipulations to multiple objects. Objects can be linked to more than one proxy, creating de facto overlapping groupings. With the addition of this small set of shape gestures to the standard set of direct manipulations, users are able to perform rapid, occlusion-free, high-precision manipulations of one or more transforms without interfering with traditional multi-touch interaction or adding on-screen UI. We believe the rock and rails technique serves as a worthy augmentation to a widely used gesture language.